If you are looking to find where the parent constraint from Maya exists within XSI, uh, you would want to be looking at the pose constraint. So uh, here I have this uh, simple character that I built, just kind of doing this uh, kind of simple animation here. And uh, I want, let's say I want to make this cube, uh, I want to do a pose constraint to this end effector. So I'll select the cube. And under my constraint menu, there is a button called Constraint Compensation. So I'm going to turn that on. And what that does is basically any constraint that you create, um, it will all automatically calculate the offset uh, at the time when you when you make that constraint. So let's just go to uh, Pose Constraint here under the Constraint menu. And uh, I'm going to select this end effector. So uh, now if I... Uh, if I drag the time slider, the box should move with the end effector as if it were uh, a child of that object. So um, another cool thing about the the constraint compensation button is that I can always, at any time when it's turned on, I can kind of go in and move the object around, and uh, it still stays stays with it. So that's a, a very uh, kind of simple example of the uh, post constraint within XSI.